mid-90s are common during the Florida summer, but warm weather this week has caught some students by surprise. We'll see them then spreading into the evening. Cindy O'Quinn is a multimedia meteorologist at the College of Journalism and Communications. Um, well, it says typical summertime weather forecast in Florida, except it's not because it's feeling a little bit warmer than typical this time of year um, because our heat index is in the triple digits. This weather might not just lead to discomfort, but danger for the attendees. If you don't drink enough, um, you can uh, dehydrate. Um, so that's one thing you need to be cautious of. And when you have higher heat indices, like we're going to see around um, Thursday and Friday up to 105, then you need to be aware that it is very easy to start feeling the stress from too much heat. Many Summer Media Institute attendees were taken aback by the intense Florida sun and scrambled for means by which they could combat the heat. Summer Media Institute attendee Brooks Keeley of Georgia was one of these students. I used to think Georgia was hot, but then when I came here, it, it's a lot hotter here. So I didn't think it was going to be this hot. Working hard on each of their specializations, it's important for students to do what is necessary to stay cool. Drinking lots of water, like it doesn't really cool me down as much as I want it to, but I guess it helps. Whether that's drinking plenty of water or staying inside, Summer Media Institute attendees will work through the heat to gain the most from their experience. Reporting from Summer Media Institute 2018, I'm Alex Hawk.